Hi guys, and Goba30 here, and uh, this is a new video. Um, now, this is Resident Evil 2, a uh, DualShock version. Uh, I what I wanted to do with this video was mostly just to um, beat my own record uh, with Leon. Uh, so far I've reached 2 hours and 10 minutes, but I thought, ah, let's actually do it on my channel. Um, now, what we what we got going on is basically... In my last video, I said I was going to do the uh, Dreamcast release, but yeah, there were some problems. The image quality wasn't good, so uh, I thought I might as well do it with the PS3, but it would be a bit better. And yeah, um, so at the moment, you got the demo going on. Uh, yeah, anyway, what I do is usually each year, I try to beat my own record. Um, as I said before, I reached 2 hours and 10 minutes, uh, but it was the maximum. I'm not too sure if I'm going to beat it on this video, but I want to do it. I want to talk, give it an attempt. So it's going to be a bit of a long video. Uh, it's going to be in two parts. And uh, yeah, let's uh, give it a try, shall we? It's original game, and we play it on normal. Yeah, if I play it on easy, then yeah, it's too easy. Let's just do it on normal. Interestingly enough, on the PC, the Dreamcast version, which is based off the PC version, there's a hard mode, and uh, yeah, that is actually quite hard. Anyway, yeah, let's have a quick look. A bizarre incident occurred in the outskirts yeah. of an American suburb called We can Bracken skip City. on the intro. Yep. Skip on that one too. Start this baby. Okay, I do just be for image quality, but yeah, it's going to improve in future videos. Now let's just skip over these guys. This one's too. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, um. It's a shame you can't skip cutscenes. Skip cutscenes, sorry. You you need to uh, yeah get a GameCube version, which I had, and unfortunately I sold. And that's it. I uh, well my other videos, but one of my biggest gaming regrets. It's a shame I sold it. But yeah, uh, I got this one. I mean, I got it on Dreamcast, which is the best version. What's going on in this town? Hold on. It's really interesting that this was supposed to be a main character, a main like a following character for uh, in Resident Evil in Resident Evil 1.5. Unfortunately, yeah, has been demoted to a this uh, secondary role, which uh, you know if you never played Resident Evil, you will hear in a bit what it's his demise. Okay, and uh, he's dead. Now, let's give it a try here. Yeah. So we can go a bit backwards then. Nice. Okay. This one too. And there you go, that's a boy like a boss. Uh, okay. What else have we got going on? Yeah, I remember trying this, um, the demo, like it was released for PC. And, uh, yeah, I was really impressed by it. The fact is, I died a lot. And, uh, anyway, I played. Ah, idiot. Yeah, every time I get eaten by freaking zombies. And, okay. We're still on uh, full health, which is good. You got a limit of three bytes, basically. Uh, yeah, you can replenish basically this invincibility uh, when you get the grey mixture of herbs. Wait, okay, let's just take. Oh my gosh! Just kill this one. You don't need to kill this guy, you just can run it off. Yeah, oh, go, go. There you go. Ooh, this one. Usually I get beaten by a zombie every freaking time. Let's try if we can. Oh, nice. Avoid that like a boss again. 
so what I ju what I usually do is uh, before well, in my first playthroughs of Resident Evil, I will go on the uh, on top. You go left side. You go another sh pathway, but full of zombies. So I rather take the the Brad Wesker. No, Brad Wesker. Brad. W that's cool. Brad. 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 Something like Vickers. Yeah, Brad Vickers is uh, way. Uh, Basically, yeah, Brad Vickers was a pilot in the first Resident Evil. He appeared uh, shortly in Resident Evil 3, but he gets killed and then he returns, basically, he, um, quote unquote, returns to the zombie in uh, in that pathway. Anyway, yeah, let's go down here. Let's get some more ammo. Just because you may never, you may never know. Oh, I should go the other way. Ah, well. Here we go. Now, and enjoy this cheesy cutscene. Oh man! I'm not sure if you guys want me to talk Who over cutscenes. Oh, uh, you must be the yeah. new guy. Leon. Anyway, yeah. Um. Actually, this character Sorry, ap appears in like um, the Outbreak File 2. Um, still alive. What he does help you. You know, he's a supporting character in the About Desperate Times ago, scenario. Um, was this incident but yeah, you see how he gets killed. Oh, he, he gets beaten. In a mansion located in the outskirts of this city. Chris and the other Stars members discovered that Umbrella was behind everything. They risked their lives to reveal the truth, but no one believed them. Come on. Not long after that, all this started to happen. Uh, uh. Hang in there. Don't worry about me. Just rescue the survivors in the other rooms. Here, take this key card. You should be able to unlock the doors in the hall with this. Now go. But. But. <laughs> Just go. Yeah, it's a bit slow the loading times actually. I tried to make them faster. But I'm coming but back for you. That's fine. Just hold on. It's how first, really. So rather than go all the way around it, we just go here. Should. It's kind of like a race in a way. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. Come on, come on. Yep, and that's done. Now. Maybe we go through this way rather than go all the way around it, and then it's gonna waste a bit of time. I'm gonna put this. I'm gonna put the knife away. Don't need that. Don't need to read the document there because I know already the combination is 2236. And yeah, let's go here. Come on. There you go. <laughs> Sometimes it's a bit slow loading. Though. Actually, let me get some more ammo just in case. Yep, and that's done. Okay, we don't need to follow this one. Completely avoid this guy. So we're gonna do is we're gonna take the gem from here. I won't be wasting time reading documents, I pretty much know where they are, what they do. Let's get some ammo more, yep. And, uh, there you go, a good gem. Now, 
Basically, the whole game I'll just be doing it running. Uh, I don't even walk anymore on Resident Evil 2, I just run every time. So, but yeah, yeah, really, I love this game by heart. I mean, I know it by heart, I love it. And it still doesn't tire me, it doesn't. It doesn't tire me at all. Oh, oh idiot. Feed around this, I think, so quickly. Just to make it a bit faster. Uh, 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 uh. There you go. go there you go. There you go. We have auto aim. Call of Duty players will hate me now. They're all dead, nice. Okay, so a few more, a few more herbs, just in case. I'll be putting them in the chest later. Yeah, it's because you probably see notifications going off uh, of the PS3. I'm sorry about that. But yeah, is there a way I could record it decently? So. Yeah, I know it's a bit dark actually. Uh, I mean, it does look like dark. Yeah, it's just been improving image quality a bit later, probably post processing. Yeah, basically, when you get as soon as you get to the, what, the statues, you better do it on the spot. So that you know you, you get yourself enough. You know, plenty of inventory later. Uh, yeah, we just push it. Ah, damn it. that's a waste of time. Come on, come on, push it. What's wrong with you? Okay, so again, ah, finally. Stupid. Uh, It doesn't happen. Oh, come on. Oh, gosh. It's been really annoying today. <laughs> okay, let's try again. Okay. Oh, finally. Yeah, that should have took me actually. F yeah, should have taken me faster. It was so annoying, it wasn't just recognizing me pushing it. Let's continue. So there's a bunch of zombies here. Ooh, ah, idiot! I should have been on attention actually at the moment, but no, still fine. Good. Yeah, it looks like I'm just gonna be rusty at this game. Maybe let's just get a shotgun here. Nice. And then we get the medallion as well as the Chris's diary. Yep, need the crap. Leon. Yeah, actually, um, the game, 
the gameplay with Claire to see you're actually still pretty, um, the pretty different, really, because of a grenade launcher it and the like crossbow. Other than that, yeah, it's uh, you know, um, it's pretty fun, pretty fun experience. However, Claire A is actually longer than Leon A in terms of uh, if you want to make a record, if you want to no make a uh, speed run of it. Claire, yeah, Claire A is actually longer. Uh, probably about 20 minutes or something like that. Right. One last thing. Here's a radio. Take it. That way we can keep in touch if anything happens. I'm talking about records, there's a way to get a Gatling gun, but however, it's, uh, it's a bit of a pain actually because you have to use uh, just um, like a few herbs or something like that, and then you have to finish the game in about one, one, uh, one hour and a half. And uh, you have to. What else is there? Yeah, I think. Ah, yeah, you can't use uh, customized weapons, basically. Yeah, you know, basically, you reinforce your weapon, like a magnum, a shotgun. Oh, yeah, I also. Ban uh, you don't have to use any two handed weapons, apart from a rocket launcher at the moment. Zombie. It's a uh, pretty interesting uh, rules to follow to actually get the Gatling gun. At the end of the day, I never used two-handed weapons, um, or you know, two slots weapons. Basically, it's uh, you know, it slows down the gameplay. It slows down your timers, unless you want to go for fun. Oh, idiot! I was walking right on the edge of a wall. Come on. Anyway, let's continue, shall we? Before I get angry. Okay, now let's get rid of this liquor in here. Okay, that's two shots. Oh, I guess I was trying to... There you go. Dead. So let's take care of this one. Yeah, the image from what it looks like is a bit dark, so I've been, I've been fiddling around with the settings. Yeah, I still apologize if it does look too dark. So, yeah, I don't need the gems for the moment. I can. Uh, I'll, yeah, where I'll, I'll need to use them, basically, there's this chest. Before, so yeah. nice. Okay. So what we're gonna go now? Um, we got going. So we're going to be same as before. Yeah, I'm gonna go from the top, basically. Or is that a better way to do it? Actually, I think it's faster this way. However, there'll be a crap of zombies that I have to deal with. Usually the way I was just going now, I'll have to... Yeah, uh, it doesn't let me... It doesn't let me deal with it with that many zombies, however. Probably I might can just avoid them. Uh, well, I had to shoot my way through them. Let's just do it. Yeah, usually, see, I'm, usually I, kn I know where, you know where to go, but I'm a bit rusty for a moment, so I'm trying to figure out where to go. So, as I mentioned, there are a lot of zombies there, so I'm just gonna avoid them and uh, go for the main police, I mean, police office, in a way, the main office. Oh, that's that. I don't need to deal with those zombies now, uh, there are too many of them. Okay, that's that. 
two, two, three, six. Like clockwork, I just know this stuff by heart now. Uh, yeah, just in case. Okay, so what else we got? Yeah, we're gonna leave the herb uh, behind the desk. We're just gonna get these guys bullets. And we're gonna go outside. Yeah, actually, this cut off a lot of time uh, doing, doing this way. I can deal with the other zombies later. Uh, I don't need those herbs. So what we're gonna do is basically... Oh, you idiot! I wasted time. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah, I wasted time, definitely. Okay, whatever, I'm not gonna beat that record then anytime soon. <laughs> but, you know, it, it's just to, sh just to show you. Anyway, uh, so you how I play it. How I to be played. How oh, well, I screw you guys. Yes, I'm going. <laughs> Look how many of them I have avoided. So usually, yeah, still going on there. Don't need to deal with them. Again. Well, that was a waste of time. <laughs> Let's get crank here. Uh, yeah, that's why I need to go here. Oh gosh. Yeah, you can see that I was really getting rusty. Okay, do need all this stuff. We can just push right through this one. Sorry if I go silent in a few places, it's just, you know, when you have to, you, you, I'm planning while I'm, while I'm playing, so. Okay, what's that? Here. I could have done this section considerably faster uh, if I wasn't that stupid. Yeah. Usually, here you got a whole bunch of zombies eating. Oh, listen to that noise. Mm -hmm. yeah, but we can avoid them. Don't need to deal with them for a moment. Upstairs here. You know what? I really love the music in Resident Evil 2. I mean, every Resident Evil, yeah, it's got good music. Um, but yeah, I think Resident Evil 2 has, has got the best music. Also, what's really interesting about the P PlayStation format, the way it handles music, is basically it doesn't do it by, uh, as you would expect, like from the CD, like audio tracks and all of that. You actually, do it by modules. Uh, it's not, not it's not too far from the way Amiga handles its sound. You know, the mod music. It's pretty, pretty, pretty cool because you know you can go to like mod archive. Uh, well, you know, they, uh, they got a lot of, um, I think it's called Mod Archive or Mod 
Mota Eyes or something like that. I think it's Mota Archive. We got a lot of uh, this Amiga uh, music, Amiga soundtracks. And uh, yeah, there's also the PlayStation format. And it's only a few kilobytes. And the actual runtime itself is about probably. Uh, it's, I don't remember if it's uh, like 1 meg or 11 meg or something like that. That's really interesting. Here. Oh, can I avoid it? Can I avoid it? Idiot. I'm not going to use the help now. Okay. Ah, I should have used the pistol actually, but whatever. Just continue. Uh, okay, so we got a crank. We don't need a crank. Uh, shotgun. Do we need a shotgun? Not for the moment. This one to this, definitely. You should keep it there. Great. Oh, oh I'm still in caution. Mm, uh, whatever. We can still continue doing it. So, anyway, um. Yeah, basically, here, as you can see, put that two zombies. Yeah, that two zombies here. But when we're gonna turn off the fire, they're gonna disappear. It's a bit of a bug, actually. Okay, let's just unlock this one. See this guy is here. Ammo always helpful. You may never know. Uh, then let's just run it now. Okay. So basically, you see how this uh, helicopter gets, you know, in the crashes in the second scenario. So in the meantime, let's just continue here. So we're gonna do a bit of uh, a bit of dribbling. Uh, uh, oh, I mean, dribbling as in. No, forgot. Let's avoid all these zombies. Whatever. I was trying to put, say, you know, take some fancy term, but then I got confused with another one. But yeah, um, on scenario, actually, on second scenario, you actually come from this building I was just in. So it, it cuts entirely, you know, the cuts basically is shorter than the very beginning of the game. But then you have to do a lot of backtracking. Ooh, and there you go, avoid that one, avoid this guy, and there you go. And this guy, actually, this girl. Let's just use this thing. Yeah, in the uh, I think PC and Dreamcast version, the pitch of this sound is actually lower for some strange reason. Okay, that's done. Oh, we got into some bullets. I can use a whole bunch of them, but it's just a waste of time shooting at times. To do out of necessity at times, so, yeah. Oh, I thought we were, gonna, we were gonna be shotgun ammo in there. Well, well. Okay. So you got the crows, but I think you can avoid them like nothing. Just see, because see, they just take a way longer. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go here. Gonna get. Uh, a herb, and then oh, I forgot the herb or the door there. Whatever, don't need that. 
Okay, so that's gonna... Yeah, uh, as you would expect, actually, if when you, on caution, when you're um, yellow, that you basically you walk slower. So it's be it's always best if you're doing a speed run. It's always best to be in fine, but it's always best not to get beaten. La no. Sh oh, I thought that was going to disappear, but no, that's interesting. I think they fix that. Oh no, what it was. There you go. <laughs> so is that now? That was me being stupid again, getting beaten like that. Okay. Uh, so oh yeah, uh, shotgun ammo here. See, that's the thing, you go into these hidden places and you will never expect them to be there. It said, yeah. Oh, uh, I forgot something. Remember those gems that I put in the chest? There you go, we take those ones. But yeah. You know what? I really love listening to the save room themes uh, from all the Resident Evils. They always that, you know, that kind of eerie, ch chilling out song. <laughs> it's really, really hard to describe. Pieces. Let's get this key. But yeah, um, yeah. Since I, I, I think I mentioned, yeah, I did mention. Okay, oh gosh, uh, I did mention about um, until 1.5. Um, yeah, the game is going to be completely different. It's basically, uh, yeah, at the moment, it's basically kind of a museum turned precinct. Uh, one said in the original Resident Evil 2 or Resident Evil 1.5, it was supposed to be a normal police station. It's a shame they, uh, you know, they didn't keep keep on that one. But some someone's got Resident Evil 1.5. Someone's got it. It's just they're not willing to give give it to the Resident Evil community. Well, unless someone does a million offer, I don't know. You guys, if any guys have interest, you know, you can create a fundraiser, give him one million, and please. To give it to this guy. Okay, so wait, as I said before, we're just placing that. We can put a small key and get the more powerful gun. Uh, we don't have a vandal. Uh, we can get that prison key. Ideally, what I can do would be to go. Actually, since I had to go and beat up all those, I mean, it would be up. Shoot all those zombies. I'll need that more powerful gun. So let's go and get it, shall we? Okay. So that one guy can avoid it. No, don't this guy. He needs that. Yeah, is that nice? It's always good when you actually eat. Kill a zombie in f with a few, few, few shots. Uh, okay, now well, we can avoid this guy. But this one can't avoid much, as you can see. There's a tight space. So there you go. Is that? So, so what I'm gonna do is uh, there's a f bit more ammo in there. Actually, sorry, not here, but. On the other side of the door. But the zombies are. There should be a bit, bit more ammo, but then I'm gonna waste it. Killing all these zombies, so. Yes, yes, I'm not gonna go into this uh, section for a while, so I can just leave them.
you know, I've got so many memories of this game. Uh, I remember when I had it, when I had big, you know, the big box on PC. And just that special thing of any box. Now probably it's uh, quite hard to find. Can we do it? Can we do it? Can we do it? Nice. Yeah. 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 Anyway, yeah, it's uh, quite hard now to find in the wild. Uh, we might find it on eBay, but you know, eBay is kind of like cheating in a way. So I prefer to find stuff in the wild. So I'm not gonna. Uh, anyway, yeah, I'm not gonna combine the power up or the modification to the pistol yet, because uh, what it was gonna do is basically I'm gonna run out, run out, when I'm gonna run out of ammo, I'm gonna com combine it. So yeah. So yeah, don't waste ammo. Let's go. Let's go now. So let me see how much space. Yeah. This. One. Oh yeah, uh, I need to get a green herb anyway. Just in case there is, uh, yeah, there's a red herb a bit later, so I'm gonna use it with that one. Besides, there's another green herb, in, you know, in this, uh, in this office, and then on the hallway next to it. So I can just ah, that was stupid. No, shut up. Okay, whatever. I'm gonna use the another green herb. <laughs> Running. Five shots left. That should be this one. And as soon as we combine this one, there you go. The team, team runs now. Nice. Okay, so let's take this one. Strike there. No, no interest. I wasted three bullets on one zombie, no, that's not good. This is the mission before, I'm gonna combine it with the green herb. There you go. That's done. So, how should we do. Ah, yeah, I have to go. Oh. Actually, can you go back down? No problem. So we not actually. Yeah, if you're a Resident Evil player, you you have to avoid the first aid kits. Uh, they just lower your score range. It's just not good. So take this on. Let's make a run for it. So let's see if. The liquor is still there. Yep. <laughs> so, no. Can't get those pistol bullets because it's just a waste of time. I'm just gonna be using ammo and uh, yeah, at the end of the day, I didn't even. I just wasted time, but. You just run it, run it. So 
we got the having that done. So what I'm gonna do is um what do we have to go? Oh yeah, we have to go so It's basically Go down here, um, go on the chest, and then we're gonna go where uh, Marvin, uh, the the police officer from before, is, and then we're gonna get some, yeah, the um, green key. So do need that. Don't need anything else in there actually. But you can just run it. So yeah, the hands won't come out, come out anymore. So we just can freely cruise this the whole way, like guys. Okay. Uh, oh. Yep. Oh, here there was a whole bunch of zombies, isn't it? I think there, are, I think there are. Oh, fudge. Okay, uh Okay, run it, run it, run it. Okay. Ooh, that was quick. I usually kill all the zombies, but come on, it's just useless. Okay, uh we're gonna Oh no zombies at all. What I'm gonna do is basically I'm gonna get the hammer from here. No, the green key actually get it in the um, yeah in this not sewers area in the basement area. So we this one is just the key to yeah go down to the basement. Uh, yeah, there will be. Ooh, it's gonna be hard because of the dogs. I hate the dogs. <sighs> okay, let's just do it. Let's complain any more doing. Okay, so we got some bit of that. We're just gonna go with it. Yep. Uh, okay. Oh, how do you have to get a cable? Oh, nice. Don't need this. We can leave them for later, just in case you got anything. Okay, just need that. Run it. I hate them. <laughs> Kill all of them. See if I taste that. One note is it. You get that dog. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, uh, we can skip that. <laughs> okay, uh. 
the hell? Come on. I have to use two. Oh, it's a waste. Okay, now there's nothing underneath there, is there? Actually... No, there isn't. As I think in the N64 version there's actually, you know, when you print with the randomized uh, items. So it's up, down, up, down, up. And uh, there you go. <laughs> it's very simple. <laughs> it's just you have to follow that pattern. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry about the notifications uh, up above. It's just, uh, using, yeah, as I said before, I'm using a PS3. Uh, That was smooth. Oh, you're getting shots, so uh, might, might as well skip it. They can be replaced by liquors later, anyway, so. Here's the introduction of Ada Wong. I actually love the character change in um, Resident Evil 4. For her. Actually, I like all the character changes in Resident Evil 4. When I saw the it's a very. My first Resident Evil has always been B movies, but Resident Evil 4 is uh, it's like a high budget B movies, B, B movie actually. This is always good. And what are you doing here? I'm looking for some guy named Ben. He's one of those reporter types. Always looking for a scoop. I heard he was locked up in the cell block. Only there's a wrecked car barring the entrance. Yeah, talk about I've B movies actually, uh, or oh, movies in general. Uh, yeah, Resident Evil 2 is actually like the aliens of uh, Resident Evil Saga. So you got yeah, together, basically you got um, yeah, the alien, here, which uh, you can follow that. You know, the whole mansion closed. You know, closed up. You know, close up space. But then you got Resident Evil 2, which, uh, you know, it's in the city. So you got, like, more zombies in a way, you know, it's more of a larger scale. Uh, like aliens, basically. Um, but then, yeah, you got Alien 3. And then you got Resident Evil, Resident Evil 3. Which is, no, Resident Evil 3 is still a good game. Uh, yeah, Alien 3, I didn't, I didn't appreciate it that much, actually. But then you got Alien Resurrection, Alien 4, okay. It's a bit different there. Ada, wait. Hey, you, you see the pattern. <laughs> it kind of works with the uh, with the f it kind of works with the first trilogy of alien films. So let's see what we can get here. Uh, maybe there's a blue herb. Yeah, there you go. That's the blue herb there, right there and there. Uh, I might get this one. Just go to... Let me guess. You must be Ben, right? Get up, now! What do you want? I'm trying to sleep here. Yeah, this guy is the uh, is this the guy? The, yeah, this Resident Evil. Ben, you told the city officials that you knew something about what's been going on, didn't you? Actually, um... What did you tell Yeah, them? I had, um... The Resident Evil 2 comic, yeah, Resident Evil comics back in, back in Italy. I'm it's a shame to that I don't have now. Uh, they're His not name's John. easy to he's find now. They're actually quite expensive. Based in Chicago, but he suddenly disappeared six months ago. I heard a rumor that he's here in the city. I don't know anything. And even if I did, why would I want to tell you? Yeah. Okay, I say we leave him in there. Does anyone know where they put the key to this cell? I have it right here, officer. But I'm not about to leave this cell. 
Those zombies aren't the only things crawling around out there. What was that? Like I said, I'm not leaving this cell. Get out of here before you can skip these cutscenes. Yeah, we'll, hey, I'm not going. We'll anymore. save off a lot of my time. Left alive in this oh, well. What? Look, if you want to live, then you're going to have to leave with me. But do you even know how to get out of the city? There's a kennel in the back of the building. Inside the kennel is a manhole. Go through and it'll lead you to the sewer entrance, but it won't be easy. Okay. All right, I'm going. Okay, now let's get this manhole opener. We can open at the man's holes. <laughs> Or a man that opens holes, or a, uh, a, a man that is a hole and he, that gets opened by the, that opener. You know, it can work always. But okay, so anyway, it wasn't funny. <laughs> okay. So I'm not gonna waste time with those dogs. Um, I mean, uh, there's like a, I think, red or blue herb over there. I care, but, you know. It's just a waste of it will be a waste of time anyway. Yeah, I'm not gonna waste ammo and uh, not gonna gain much. So let's just avoid some spiders here. And I'm sorry if you're afraid of spiders. Uh, yeah, and oh, I didn't get stung. Nice. Okay, so what we're gonna do is put the storage. So as you can see, I'm not saving much. Uh, yeah, because basically there's the limit of uh, basically three saves to get rank A. So I I usually do maximum two saves in the game. So we don't need. Oh, actually, we can mix them now. These guys. There you go. There's two grey herbs. This one goes there, actually, uh, idiot. Uh, yeah, I'm calling myself idiot a lot. Maybe because I am. And that's 21, and that's 3. Actually, yeah, I do need a shotgun for a moment. Because it's the um, other section. Uh, basically, now the characters get swapped. You become other. So, uh, as soon as you go here. She magically appears. Ta da! Yeah, I always wonder why doesn't she appear after I come out of the safe room? That's a really interesting I don't think trick I've myself yet. My name's Leon. I'm with the RPD. It's a dead end. So, you know how you can see actually when you switch characters in Resident Evil 2? If your character doesn't have a gun and the other one does, then boost, you become that we'll character, the one with the gun, or the one with the weapon. Uh, I was into, uh, found, uh, I haven't read anywhere else where they made the up servants, but it's always that something that I found interesting. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna just run over here. Now, uh, uh, what the now? Oh yeah, that dogs. In scenario B, there will be uh, zombies in these sections. So anyway, let's just try to avoid these freaking dogs, shall we? Okay. Yeah. Oh, that was good. That was a good. That was a good dodge there. I dodged them like a boss again. Okay, so we don't need to explore this area any further because we got the ammo here. Yeah, I'm gonna need the shotgun uh, later because uh, there'll be liquors uh, instead of uh, dogs. So it's a good thing that I avoided them completely, them dogs. 
still I'll have to deal with the liquor. So here's puzzles puzzle time again. It's not a hard of a puzzle this one. Uh just when you play it, make sure that you go to the this box in here, just push it forward and push it a bit further here, and then you go to this the gap in between these two boxes. Push this one. And oh battery is low. Damn it. Uh should resist for a few minutes. <laughs> okay, uh that was a bit unscripted. Uh, there you go. Let's just quickly do it. Yep. And there you go, that's a puzzle. Every time, you know, when I played this game, like uh, when I was uh, quite young, I always mess up this puzzle. But then I always found it, you know, found myself the solution. I'm, I'm sure everyone else came up with the same solution that I did. Because, yeah, it's way faster. There you go, that's sorted. Yeah, my battery's running low. Oh, it's a shame. I just uh, tried to recharge you while we're in a cutscene. Uh, good thing that they can't skip them. <laughs> they were made for this time. For these times. <laughs> that was good. That was a good, good touch. Again. Avoid all contacts with dogs. Leon, can you hear me? Ada, did you find anything? Right here. Think fast. Here's one more. Hey, I can't reach the ventilation hole. Okay. I'm going to have to find another way around. I'll catch up with you later. So for the noise, I just try to recharge the... What? Ada, wait! Okay, uh, so we go in here. We got shotgun ammo and the key. It just will be here. Okay. So let's continue it. Okay. So what we got? Okay, we got we're pretty much sorted for the moment in terms of weapons and all of that. Okay, oh whoa 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 whoa. So we got a stick right here and look at that. It just breezes right through. <laughs> uh, I quite love it. I quite love that clipping uh there. Stuff with these babies. I think now in that parking space they're gonna be um yeah there will be dogs now. So we just let's see, let's see. Oh there aren't great. Uh here there's usually a green herb, so we can should we get it, should we get it? No, yes, no, no. We can't get it. Oh, whatever. No, actually. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, well, there's still some green herbs left, actually, in the chest. And, uh... Ooh, do you hear that? And he's dead. Uh-oh. Oh. <laughs> what the hell, man? Could have got me. Actually, should got the green herb. Um, we can use it a bit later. So in the meantime, uh, what we got going on? Yeah, you see all the zombies there, and yeah, that's not good. <laughs> What I'm gonna do is uh, try to run it. Try to run it. Whatever. Eh, there you go. If I stood there, I would waste a lot of ammo. Uh, so I'd rather lose a bit of health rather than go through all the ammo, to be honest.
Ah, we're not doing too bad to be honest. At the moment we're not doing too bad. Because remember, uh, remember those two herbs that are left uh, left out uh, upstairs. So I'm gonna use those ones. Uh, yeah, the po yeah, powered up gun is actually uh, way better. Uh, I mean, way better. It's actually quite useful for what we need. Okay, nothing here. We can skip that. Yeah, actually, I got yeah, DualShock version from position network, but really getting getting the original one for. Uh, yeah, well, well, for PS1, it's actually quite expensive. Uh, some people, some people sell it for seventy. I mean, last time I checked, it was seventy pounds. That's just crazy. Anyway, let's go over here. I think did we? I don't remember if I actually got any ammo off uh, that shelf. I'll have to check again. It's gonna be a quick one after I just come out of this room. Okay, now here and then here there's some shotgun ammo. Look at that, we got plenty of ammo. Enough to take down a whole army. Uh there you go, a magnum. Yeesh. This guy doesn't have anything anyway, so we can skip it. I don't I don't even use the ammo uh, the magnum that much. I just use it at the very end. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, go here. No, I think I got the arm over there. Okay. okay. Oh, come on. That's because I can beat them a lot. I'm pretty rusty for the moment. Okay, so what we got going on here is uh yeah, I'll have to go through the green key, green key, green key. That's the yeah, place in the hallway. Just go and get it. So apart from that, yeah, um, what we're gonna do is basically I'm gonna go later back in the library bit. Uh, you remember where they were the moving shelves, and uh, yeah, I just have to go from there, get a crank, get the cog off here. Lighter here. So was it? Uh, I was confused which one it was. Uh, is it this one, I think. This one and that one. Oh, he, he did. So no, it's the other way. I know this. It was the middle one. Then this one. I think is this one. There you go. Yeah, it was the other. I was see. That's the problem. I always get confused with left and right. And uh, every time does that, you know, my brain does that trick to me. It just mm, annoying. It's only with everything. Can't even give out instructions, directions. Actually, instructions, directions. It's just because I'm confused with with them, with those directions. It's just annoying. Anyway, yeah. a bit of mini rant in there. So we got a cog. We're gonna get. So we yeah, we got a crank. We got, we we have a cog. We got a crank, and uh, what else we got? Oh yeah, we just have to go down down the shaft up up in the library. Yeah, anyway, you see well, what I'm going to do anyway. Just that you know, it's always good to plan while you're doing stuff. <laughs> it's always been good to plan and say about it. Ok, 
can go and lick her here. Oh, this ring. Yeah, those things are fucking nasty. I hate them. Hey, you can chase them after me. It's interesting that those lickers that disappear completely off the series, they never, never been brought back again in any other Resident Evils. It's a shame, I love those lickers. They're complete bastards, but I love them. Uh, okay. Uh, we don't need the herb, do we? No, we can just keep it here. Uh. Again, could have avoided that completely, but you know, they actually ch they're very really fast, they chase after you, so it's kind of hard to avoid them. I know the most expert, expert Resident Evil player, I'm, I'm sure they're, some, they're way better than I am. So, anyway, we don't need to go back to these locations anyway, so. Which is great. Okay, let's go up. up. Go here. Uh, yeah, in the um, yeah second scenario, there's the uh, that Terminator guy. Uh, it's called what's it? What's it called now? The great guy, I don't want to show, I forgot how he was called now for the moment. But anyway, let's call him the Terminator. I always call him the Terminator. Because, yeah, this game, in a way, it's like, yeah, going along with the Aliens uh, franchise, you know, the comparison between two. Um, yeah, this would be like Terminator 2. In fact, it was the, in a way, the better game, uh, the one that overshadowed the very first game. Because then there was been the, the remake, uh, which is, oh, well. It's the uh, one of the scariest games ever, to be honest. Especially when you get the crimson heads, and that's pain the ass, man. Yep. So far, we're cooking at about one hour, one hour and almost ten minutes, which is good. So, good thing is that we're gonna skip the all, the whole precinct basically. We're just gonna go down the shaft. There we go, we skipped a lot of time, basically. Oh, but there's this uh, quite painful scene at the moment. You've seen a bit. Get away! Myself are painful. Uh, this is actually quite Damn. visceral in a way. I believe this. It's very interesting. It's a 15 only game. <laughs> just because, I don't, just this scene alone should have been 18 to be here. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> Bitter irony. The chief of police, co conspirator. Get that scum. Make him. Hey. Hang in there, Ben. Hey, is this thing oh. coming? My chest! It's burning! What's wrong? <laughs> yeah. I think you should have you should have tried some Gaviscon. I don't know you guys. <laughs> 
Good God, what was that? But you see, in these cases, Gavscon actually helps you out to get rid of parasites. Yeah, that was her burn. You, you can see that. To the chemical plant. I have a feeling that's where I'll find John. Ada, wait! Hey! Do you read me, Claire? We now have access to the back of the parking lot. Got it. I'm getting out of here and heading to the sewer. Can you meet me there? I'm on my way. So what else have we got? Let me see. Did I leave out anything in here? To be honest. Yeah, no, didn't. So let's go and get and go for the boss battle. Mm -hmm. So, as you remember before, we just skipped all those spiders. I mean, the spiders will still be there. I skipped the dogs because they're just useless to kill them. Yeah, again, if you're afraid of spiders, don't look at that. <laughs> oh, you can shoot them. Uh, in your mind, you can shoot them. And then, let's go here. Maybe I can use the Magnum, just to be more powerful, but... I uh, can just skip it, I'm just going to use the shotgun. Let's see what we got. Uh, uh, uh. So, we're going to take this, we're going to take... This BBC here. I'm not going to take the uh, pistol armor for the moment. No, don't need them. Just gonna take this. It's just uh, that we can be a bit faster. See where uh, Silent Hill goes inspiration from. Oh, idiot! I never get hit by that monster, but yeah, it's today I'm particularly rusty. Yeah, that's use that no. Well, really, I've saved a lot of time by keeping those chess pieces with me. I think need the uh, pistol ammo at the moment, so... It's best to just... What was that all leave it for the moment, yeah. Running off like I mean, I, can, uh, the, I think there's a few zombies later, I mean, uh, yeah, in some warehouse, but... Are everywhere. Not not to mention yeah, 18 that rounds. I was there, Leon, I know. Look, Ada, as an officer, it's my job to look out for you. But we're not going to get through this alive if we don't work together, okay? All right. We'll do this your way, for now. Okay, let's run through here. Oh, 
probably just keep this ones for later. Uh, just get some more grey herbs. Yeah, here, as I mentioned before, there's a warehouse that feeds zombies, but I can... And uh, there's, there's some ammo. Shotgun ammo later. Actually, oh, they're not zombies. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, yeah. I thought there were some zombies, but yeah. Oh, yeah, I'll just go confused with the uh, second scenario. Precious ammo in here. Just put it together with this guy. And yeah, that's about it, really. But yeah, uh, as I mentioned before. Never use first aid kits, they actually lower your rating. So if you are planning to go for A rating, don't use two slots weapon and don't use first aid kits. Leon, that woman was... I have to talk to her. Yeah, um, yeah, as I mentioned before, yeah, there's loading speeds that are a bit, uh, a bit slow. Uh, yeah, on the PSP actually, you can decide, you choose the loading times, the, the pre disk reading times. Like, you can pull others fast or normal. In the, in this time, yeah, on the PS3 you can't, unfortunately. I really wish you could skip them in the PlayStation version. Ada, Ada Wong. Ada Wong. I've heard that name before. Now I remember. One of the men from Chicago who came to assist the T-Virus research used his girlfriend's name as his password. Ada and John, I believe. How did you know? Who are you? Annette Birkin. My husband is the man responsible for the creation of the T-Virus. William Birkin. What? John's dead. He became one of those zombies. My condolences. And although I regret this, you will be joining him shortly. I won't let anyone take the G-Virus away from me. G-Virus? Oh. It's capable of creating the ultimate bioweapon. Its potential is even greater is that? than that of the Cold virus. Cold is doing all these viruses. But really, it's just... Have you ever thought that it's gonna spread? It's precisely. gonna... Also My infect you will. guys? It's just... See, Umbrella Corporation was really stupid. No wonder why they went down. 
None of this would have happened if they See, these marketing to steal his decisions are not good. Anyway, yeah, let's just skip. It means they should get better PR as well. Huh? Better marketing so guy, better rats PR. Were the carriers of the virus. As a result of his virus, oh, yeah, you should do more brainstorming on their products. William should have lost any prior memories he had as a human by now. Even worse, every G virus bioweapon, including so yeah, if I create my own bio company, I will know what to do. I will just put a kill switch on every creature I and create. create. Offspring. Yeah, no, let's continue it. Should. Uh, nice. nice one. Uh, Too bad. Let's just run, 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 run. Because I got, I think I got too many items. Ada. Uh, uh, uh. How much pistol ammo do I have? Forty-six, forty-four. Let's place three slots. Uh, uh. Okay, I think we can do it. Re yeah, I don't think we can do it anyway. I think it, I think I got some tomato sauce on me. Hey look, you got red on you. So I should have a dead reference there. Oh nice, 41 good shots. We got this man. We got this bloody ass. Okay. So yeah, you got the spiders there. Any people suffering of arachnophobia, don't look. more spiders but that's so easy to avoid if you get poisoned you really are a rubbish player so, it's so easy to avoid those ones one rule with Resident Evil avoid as much as possible saves time saves you ammo saves your health as well unless it's Resident Evil 4 then you can shoot the hell out of everyone yeah there What's going on here? Got two herbs. Then I'm planning to. Hmm. I'm really deciding what I should think about those herbs. Yeah, might as well for later. Uh, I got a few zombies to kill. Okay, let's continue. Notice that, yeah, you know, actually, it was in its mouth. In it's uh, yeah, in its mouth there. Strange is it just hits you, but you really were actually in between its fangs. Uh. Okay. Should let's do it cooler. Yeah. It 
anyone want some crocodile? Actually, the, on that note, I would, like, I would like to try some crocodile meat. I don't know if you guys ever tried it. You guys let me know in the comment. Yeah, sorry I'm not commenting much, is that it's the first time I'm doing it. And uh Yeah anyway I uh yeah I'm not really used to talk while playing. I mean I have been doing videos as you can see. But talking while playing and then concentrating concentrating time to do the record is not that Leo. easy. But yeah, I manage it quite well for the moment. Yeah, I sure hope it's not too boring for you. Um. That's two I owe you. Don't mention it. I just found out John's dead. What? Never mind. Let's just get out of here. The sooner the better. It's about almost half, uh, one hour and a half. Hopefully it shouldn't be taking me too long to go... This one. So basically, I'm going to be splitting yeah, this playthrough in two parts. Uh, I'll be reaching yeah, the section where uh, I'll be entering the uh, Umbrella Laboratories. So... Yeah, that's going to take a bit of time. So at the moment, yeah, we have about one hour and almost one hour and a half doing it. Shouldn't take too long to get there. Final seven minutes. You know, it's going to be a bit of a long video, this one. Part two, I think, is going to be a bit shorter because usually the umbrella section doesn't take as long. Okay, let's just run it because here yeah, that's just zombies and you can avoid them like nothing. So as soon as they wake up, you just run here. And there you go. Yeah, I, I sure hope, you know, when watching this playthrough, you... You know, you can see a lot of things that, uh, you know, you haven't done or... Uh, or that you have done and, uh, yeah, if you, go, if you know how to make it better, Please do comment. You know, do leave a comment. And, uh, yeah, I can do it. You know, for my next for my own next playthrough. You know, I won't mind tips or anything like that. And if you, if you guys have done it faster than I did, do, you know, do share your record. Do share your times and what tips. You know, like on how to avoid the enemies or anything like that. You know, I don't mind. See, that camera angle is quite useless because there's nothing on that section, on that shelf. There's going to be Birkin attacking now. Yeah, due to him, it helps out on records and whatnot, actually. Really interested that it didn't, sm it didn't smash any of those lights. <laughs> ok, 
Okay. Yes, sometimes he actually there's a weapon locker thing. So we just take this one here. Sometimes you have to actually, yeah, actually, yeah. Every time we thought that the key would appear if you use the flare gun, yeah, if you use the letter with flare gun, we actually don't need to. It just works. You can actually find it right there and then. I look at that. We have kind of zombies because we're gonna get this. Oh! That's interesting. There was supposed to be a box there. Ah, oh, oh. Wait, that's a waste. Whoa. Because of this, I'm gonna keep this game in a very special way. Interesting, actually. Let me go back to it. Oh, there was supposed to be a the shotgun power up in here. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Okay. Let's just use the shotgun for the moment. It's, it's so much satis so satisfying shooting shoot zombie sets with, with the shotgun, especially when you get like. Uh, Two of them at the same time. Oh, that's dead. Who killed them? And there you go. So, um, yeah. So, ah, oh, that's interesting. Actually, almost reaching in one hour and a half. Um, quite close to it. But yeah. Uh, let's just get guns here. The weapon. Yep, like that one. And this one. I'm just preparing for the next playthrough, so uh let's put this one here. This one here. This one keep it there because it might be needed for later. So yeah, uh Yeah, anyway, yeah, in a bit it's going to be uh, just another boss battle uh, with uh, another transformation of uh, Birkin. So what we're going to do is we're just going to save it here, and uh, we're going. This will be is the last, basically, the end of the first part of uh, this playthrough. I'll be doing one uh, over probably in the weekend, uh, or probably during the week even. Hey, this is the first part, and uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, if you got any, any, you know, any, I mean, any tips on improve, uh, how to improve it, or uh, anything else, uh, any criticisms, I mind. Or any, if any compliments, of course, compliments are always welcome. But yeah, that's about it, really, for me. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed this playthrough. It's my very first one. I apologize for image quality, you know. Um, voice, uh, volume, whatever. But yeah, I uh, hope you enjoyed it and uh, I'll see you next video. Bye.